Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another gorgeous day here on the Stony Ridge. This is probably one of the busiest days of 2022 for me here on the farm. What we're gonna be doing today is trenching. We're gonna be trenching uh, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 to 2800 linear feet of trenches that are gonna be about 20 inches deep. We're gonna be running the trencher with the skid loader. Frank is still here, he's clearing a little bit more. We've got most of the grade work done for the mega shop. I think the last load of dirt just came in. Maybe one more load of dirt coming in, but this is the final grade for the mega shop. Frank is off over the hill here. Let's give you a little shot of him. Uh, dressing up, just kind of doing a final dress up of all this work that he's done so that we don't get erosion and I can get some grass seed on here. So he's back down there working. We're gonna toss the drone up in the air, get you some before and after footage. Lots of work going on today. Like I said, this is probably the busiest day of 2022 on the Stony Ridge Farm. I hope you guys enjoy the footage. It's gonna be a great day. Digging trenches and having fun, moving dirt. Woo! I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. Woo. First things first, see what Frank is doing right here? Frank is basically stirring dirt. What he's doing is he's backtracking. Uh, and when you have land cleared, guys, you need to think about this. He's backdragging uh, the areas that he's cleared for me. Now, he's not backdragging up and down the hill. He's backdragging across the hill, transversely across the hill, so that we eliminate an erosion problem, okay? So each one of these little divots that's created by his bucket will hold water instead of allowing water to flow down through there. And we're gonna get grass seed on this almost immediately. You can really tell a difference in the soil right here where we're gonna have the mega shop, how hard packed it is versus the soil down here, which is black. There's a little bit of topsoil in here. So <laughs> well, hopefully we'll get some grass going for sure. Power company's gotta run their power wire right up through here to a meter box somewhere <laughs> right along in here. I don't have all the permits and I don't have all the stuff ready yet. However, it's gonna cost me about $5,500 to get power ran up here to the mega shop. It's expensive to do this kind of stuff, guys. We're pouring a concrete pad here. The estimate, initial estimate was 78 grand on the concrete pad. We've got her down to $66,000 on the concrete pad itself. Uh, total cost of the building before electrical and before all this stuff is gonna be somewhere around a $250,000 mark. So that's that project right there. And the next project is down here at the skid loader. So we'll go down there. So we're down here at the house. This is the trench, okay? This trench is somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 24 inches deep. The frost line or freeze line around here is about 18 inches. So we went a little above and beyond what the frost line is. And I'll take you down here and show you the trencher and you guys can uh, see exactly what we've got going on. Let's whip the camera around. We'll walk towards the skid loader. There's our trench right there. You can see goes way down through here. So this is a skid loader. We've got a caterpillar trencher right here. This caterpillar trencher is a little bit on the loose side. Hopefully I can get all this done. We've got a trench all the way up to the solar well, all the way across the farm to the other field over here. This is a huge job, a huge undertaking. Now, for those of you who are concerned with peanut and its electrical problem, so it did have an electrical problem with peanut, I hit a bump really, really hard and pulled a wire loose somewhere, and I've still got to get in there and sort that out. But before I get in and sort that out, we got to race the rain. So we've got rain coming in. Today is Wednesday. We have rain coming in next Tuesday. You wonder why we're racing the rain. This is a multi-day project right here, guys. So I've already been on this. This is probably eh, four hours of trenching right here. All day, I'll be on this machine right here. So when I'm not filming, I'm on the machine. We're gonna toss a drone up, get you an idea 
we'll fly over all this prior to all the trenching and then we will uh, fly over it after we've got everything done. I cannot go across the public roadway yet, okay? I'm waiting on the folks to come and mark all the utilities before I go across the public roadway, but there will be a cattle waterer out here in the middle of this field where I can separate it into four different sections and we'll trench right up to the gate down there. And <laughs> we've got a trench across a pond dam too, so that's gonna be one of the more interesting uh, setups here. We've got a trench across the pond dam and go under the pipe. Ugh. <laughs> so we'll get you a little bit more detail. Hope you guys enjoy this footage. We're gonna throw the drone up in the air, get busy trenching. All right, guys, thanks a lot for joining me here today on the Stony Ridge. We are making monumental steps here on the farm, getting all this set up so that we can do our intensive grazing program. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please jump in and subscribe. I'd love to have you back. What we're doing here is installing water tanks, frost-free water tanks and regular uh, water tanks for uh, the cows so that we can get our intensive grazing program in order, in good working order. So we'll be able to intensively graze our cattle on one acre plots throughout the farm and move them every day or twice a day. So it's gonna be really cool. FYI guys, this trencher is a Caterpillar brand trencher and uh, Frank is letting me use it at no cost. So super awesome for Frank. He's, he's definitely been an invaluable person to have here on the farm as we clear off this land and as we get this first generation farm established. Awesome, getting ready for pigs soon, I hope. So you can see how Frank is back dragging and dressing this all up. We are just about done. Total cost for Frank's labor. He's been here about 20 hours and we've had 22 loads of dirt brought in here. So the total cost is gonna be around $6,000 for all of Frank's good hard work. Now we've also got the foundation to pour, we've got the building to construct, and we also have power and everything else that runs along with this building. So there's a lot more work to go. These are some major, major projects that have been in the works on the farm for about five or six years. Ever since I bought the farm, I knew what was gonna go where and how I was gonna tackle this. Day two, so Peanut's doing an awesome job. Still got the little electronics issue going on with Peanut, but we'll take care of that. Had to tighten up the chain one time on the trencher, and you can see we've made a lot of progress. So it goes all the way down to the road down there, and we'll be doing two different legs or two different phases here on the Stony Ridge Farm. So once I get the cows moved over here to this side, then I'll start the phase on the other side. So we're trenched up here, and the next step that I've got to do, I've got to continue the trench from here up to the wellhead right there, and then, <laughs> Before I do that, we'll start the machine up, let it get up to good operating temperature. It's about 75 degrees out here today. So this black poly pipe right here, and this is 2000 feet of black poly pipe. 
I'm getting ready to struggle. So I've got to unravel that, okay? It would be much easier to have it on a reel and just pull off pipe, but I can't do that. I don't have a reel to just pull off pipe. So I've just got to unwind it, pull it down the hill here, and I'm betting on a thousand feet being the distance between the well pump right there, all the way down to the road. That is my guesstimate, I hope. <laughs> so let's get busy. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, fire up the uh, skid loader, get it warmed up, and I'll unroll this big roll of poly pipe. I'm gonna try something, and I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but I'm gonna take the tractor, I'm gonna put this poly pipe on the pallet forks of the tractor, or on one pallet fork, lift it up, and see if I can pull it off without having to unravel. It's like a phone cord when you open it up, it just kind of bling, just kind of busts loose. It's a real pain in the butt to unroll this stuff. It took me an hour and a half just to unroll the 500 foot roll and the second uh, piece of a roll that I had. So, man, so far a total of 3,500 linear feet of inch and a quarter poly pipe at $1.13. Yeah. We'll show you how all this stuff goes together in a future video as I install the water tanks and everything like that. So I'll show you all the little plumbing nuances that are gonna go into this project. At the end of this video, as soon as the other one's published, we'll have that for you. Cool, let's get busy. This is a TYM T574 tractor. We'll fire her up. Contact. Oh, she purrs. Purrs like a kitten, man. So in order to unroll this poly, I need to pull one of the forks off of this pallet fork. I want to try something. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Awesome. So now we should just have one fork. Should work, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. <laughs> These are heavy, heavy, heavy. What I wanna do is separate the front one from the back one, and then just take one and unroll it, and then take the other one and unroll it up top. Let's give it a try. So my thought is, I'm gonna start up here at the wellhead, and I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna roll with it. If I can't pull it off by hand, I'll probably hook it behind a four-wheeler or a skid loader and pull it off, but I think I can do this by hand. What we're installing here is inch and a quarter poly pipe. I bought 2,500 linear feet of inch and a quarter poly pipe, I will need about 2,000 more feet. So a total of 4,600 feet, we will be running water pipe from one side of the farm clear to the other side of the farm. So nearly a mile of pipe here. All this pipe will be serviced by the, those solar panels that you see. Uh, that's a solar well set up and we've got a water tank to install also. So in the daytime when the sun is shining, the water will be pumping from the well via the solar panels. In the nighttime or when it's cloudy out, the water will be gravity fed from that big 1500 gallon water tank that you see sitting up on the top of the hill near the well. All this stuff will be plumbed in and set and shown on the videos. So please jump in, subscribe. There's all kinds of great content to come here, especially if you're deciding to homestead, build a farm, or you're just curious about how all this stuff works. It didn't work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I probably got about 300 feet, but that did not work. So uh, it's just a manual matter of a uh, manual. It's just a matter of manually unrolling all this. <sighs> work, 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 baby. This is going to be a three-day project. I'm totally sure of it. Just digging the trenches and rolling out the pipe. <sighs> what a job. Folks, this was a monumental undertaking. We're gonna probably have, when we get done, around 4,600 feet 
of uh, pipe in the ground. That is a lot of pipe in the ground for sure. At $1.13 uh, per linear foot, that's a lot of money in the ground, but we need it. We gotta get the farm built. So this is absolutely the funnest project I've worked on so far on the Stony Ridge Farm. We've got so much to go. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Guys, 98% done. So I've still got a little bit of work to do right here around the well house. But other than that, we have successfully trenched <laughs> uh, about 3,200 feet here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This has been a monumental undertaking. So I've got all my pipe laid out here for tomorrow. We're gonna have a pretty cool video coming out. Uh, the next video in the series will be installing all the water pipes, get them in the ground here, and we're gonna go ahead and plumb in a tire water tank. So we'll show you guys how the entire process is done for a tire water tank, and we'll have three of those on the farm. We'll also have 10 of these mirror fountain. They're all down there stacked up on a pallet. 10 of those mirror fountain uh, frost-free waterers. So gonna be an awesome, awesome video series here. Just getting started, upgraded the well. Now all the piping's going in and we've got to send pipe across the farm, all the way across the farm, 4,600 feet of pipe. Awesome guys. Thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please pound that like button. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge farm. Shop building is going in, looking good. The boys are here to pour concrete. Awesome. See you next time. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your